Bienvenidos, welcome to Spain on Pork. In today's episode, we are not only making the world's easiest homemade cookies, but they're also the most delicious cookies ever, guys. We're talking Spanish turron cookies. These cookies are insanely delicious, and they taste exactly like the famous Spanish almond nougat known as turron here in Spain. Ladies and gentlemen, these cookies are the perfect treat for the holiday season, yet they're easy enough to make that you can enjoy them all year round. And let me tell you, I suck at baking, and I'm not afraid to say that. That's why this recipe was developed for people that can't bake worth a beep. Seriously, guys, minimal ingredients, no special equipment, no special baking skills. Let's dive right in. We're gonna begin by grabbing one cup of blanched almonds and adding them into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper. And get in there with your hands and make sure all the almonds are evenly spread out and in a single layer, that way they all toast evenly. Then I'm gonna add the almonds into a preheated oven, bake and broil option, 210 degrees Celsius, 425 degrees Fahrenheit. It's been exactly six minutes since we added these almonds into the oven and they should be perfectly cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out and transfer them into a bowl. For the next step, I'm gonna grab one cup of all-purpose flour and add it into a large bowl. Add in one teaspoon of baking powder, a quarter cup of white sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of fine sea salt. And get in there and mix all the dry ingredients together, that way they're all evenly divided. Then I'm gonna add the toasted almonds into the bowl, a quarter cup of honey. Before I add it, I like to drizzle a little extra virgin olive oil into the measuring cup. This will assure that the honey does not stick into the measuring cup. And as you guys can see, thanks to that extra virgin olive oil, that honey did not stick to the measuring cup. And for the last ingredient, I'm gonna crack one large organic egg into a bowl. I like to add my egg this way into that cookie dough. This ensures that there will be no shells in there. And we're gonna mix this together until everything's well combined. And as you guys can see, this dough is very sticky. That's okay. Just make sure that you continue to mix it. Fold it if you have to. Just make sure that all these ingredients are perfectly combined. Once you have your dough all mixed, I'm gonna be using a standard dinner spoon to be grabbing the dough. Just get in there, grab some of the mixture. And add it into a baking tray that's lined with parchment paper. As you can see, this is gonna be very sticky. That is okay, not a big deal. This is because of the honey. Just get in there with a spoon, flatten it out. Get in there with your fingers, whatever you have to. You don't have to have the perfect shape here. That's the beauty of these cookies. They are homemade. If each one has a different design, that makes it even better. The most important part here, guys, about these cookies is not the design, it's the thickness of each one. That way, when we add them into the oven, they all bake evenly. Once you have all your cookies done, let's add them into a preheated oven, bake only option, 175 degrees Celsius, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. After eight to nine minutes, our cookies should be perfectly cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these from the oven. Again, guys, every oven heats differently, so keep an eye on them, that way they don't burn. Now using a spatula, I'm gonna gently transfer each of the cookies into a wire rack. And this is the beauty of parchment paper, guys. Saw how sticky that dough was. Thanks to the parchment paper, it did not stick at all. I'm gonna let these cool off for about 10 to 15 minutes and they will be ready to go. You know, you can always tell when your cookies are done. You just get in there with a toothpick and if it comes out cleanly, they are perfectly cooked. After leaving our cookies to rest for about 10 minutes, they are ready to go. I'm gonna transfer a couple into a serving dish and give these a try. <laughs> all right, guys. These seriously look insane. Here we go. So good. Wow. Wow, that's a big bite. The combination of flavors, it's rude to talk with your mouth open. Purple. <laughs> the combination of those toasted almonds with that honey is insanely delicious. I'm telling you, these cookies taste exactly like the Spanish turon. So easy to make, done in about 30 minutes. Enjoy these cookies during the holiday season. They have such a beautiful, magical flavor, yet easy enough to enjoy the rest of the year. Really quick before I go, I'd like to give out a quick shout to one of my patrons, Cheryl. Again, Cheryl, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. For the rest of you, you want to support Spain on Fork on Patreon, help with the ingredients and equipment to continue making videos like this, you'll find that link in the description box below and iCard above.
below. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.